Hello everyone, welcome to techtool.com. In this lecture, we will start transaction management. Okay, so transaction management itself is a very important chapter. So we started understanding with the concept of year model, right? So where we drawn or where we uh, plotted the requirement of a user on the paper. Okay, and then we understood how this requirement or this diagram can be converted into an actual database, actual schema. Fine. Followed by that, what we understood is now the database is ready so how we can perform query over it to store data or to retrieve data fine so till now we have done up to this part okay we completed SQL now here think of the situation where multiple transaction is being performed over a database system okay today we use a system like Facebook or uh, Twitter okay or in case of our tech2.com multiple users are accessing the same database system right and they are performing transactions so this transaction has to be managed we will understand why in a minute but first we let's understand what is transaction okay so a transaction is an executing program that performs single unit of database process okay or single unit of database processing fine so let's understand what are the single unit of database processing we already know when I'm saying single unit of database processing it means it can be insertion it can be deletion okay it can be updation or modification or of course it can be a select statement simple select statement so retrieval operation okay so whenever we perform a single unit of database processing then that executing program is called transaction okay now this transaction can have multiple operations okay so for example let's say uh, we want to increase salary of an employee by 10 percent okay so what we will do so the target is to increase increase salary of employee by 10 percent okay so what we will do we will have multiple operations first of all for each employee we will read the salary right so what we will do is we will read read salary okay then what we will do we will increase the salary by 10 percent so salary equal to salary plus 0.1 into salary fine so I'm increasing it by 10% now what we have to do I have to write it back okay to the actual value so we'll, what we will do we will write salary fine so here you can see we are performing three operations right so we have three operations but these three operations are performing a single transaction single transaction fine so this is performing a single transaction which is increasing the salary by 10 percent okay so increasing the salary by 10 percent is a transaction while we have three individual operations to perform a single transaction okay so this transaction is the combination of three operations in sequence okay these operations has to be in sequence now the question is why do we need to manage this transaction okay so the answer is also very simple that we need not to we need not to manage transaction at all okay if the system or the database management system which we are using is single user okay so if the database is single user system okay then we need not to manage because only one user is using it okay so we need not to manage transaction but in case of multi user system where multiple users are accessing or performing updates to the same database system we need to manage these transactions okay so let's say a transaction t1 is being performed by user u1 similarly t2 is being performed by user u2 okay and these transactions are being performed over a same table okay then there is a case where we may have inconsistency or incorrect data okay so all these terms inconsistency 
uh, atomicity all these things you will be understanding throughout this chapter or in subsequent videos so for now let's understand how we can get this inconsistency or incorrect data when multiple users are performing transaction over the same database so let's assume a situation where you and your friend your friend X is sitting to book a ticket online on IRCTC or any ticket booking system okay now both you both are going to make payment from the same account okay so you both are sharing an account okay and you both are going to make payment from the same account okay now your friend is going to make a transaction of 5000 rupees because he travels in first class and it is costly right but you are going to manage with a slipper class and you are going to make a transaction of 300 rupees only okay now you both are going to use the same account fine now let's say the balance in your account is 10,000 10,000 fine so what happens as there is a chance that you both will be paying at the same time okay so what will happen your friend will make a transaction of 5000 so 5000 will be deducted from the account balance okay so what happens first the balance will be read from the account so it's 10000 then 5000 will be subtracted okay so as both the transaction is occurring at the same time at the same time this transaction also reads the balance and it is 10,000 right okay now you are paying 300 your friend is paying 5,000 okay both are happening at the same time fine now what will happen after subtraction okay or after deduction the amount this 5,000 is 5,000 is remaining and it is written back to the database okay at the same time your balance is now here 9700 and you write it back so what will happen if you are writing after this balance is written this will be overridden and the exact balance will be 9700 right but at the same time if this is written later the balance will be 5000 right so it is again the sequence dependent but it should not be there right so many issues or problems like this may occur if we don't manage the transaction okay so we have to have a mechanism which will ensure the correctness of the result okay so ultimately the outcome should be 4700 right so we have to ensure this and to ensure it we will have multiple mechanism like we will lock the data until it is written back okay and you cannot read if it is already read by something and which is going to be written okay so similar mechanism we will apply and we will learn it in subsequent chapters or videos so in the next video first we will study what are the problems okay and what is the basic property of the transaction so which we call acid property in short so we will start with learning what are the property of transaction then we will understand what are the problems which may occur if we don't manage the transaction okay so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching